I knew straight away that my injuries were that severe that I will never walk on my own legs again. And in that moment, that's when I realised that I wanted to be in the Paralympics and I said to the guys, you guys will see me in the Paralympics. In Afghanistan, I was a, a combat engineer. It was on a, a clearance patrol of an unoccupied police checkpoint and I stepped straight on top of the improvised explosive device. I don't remember doing cartwheels or backflips or anything like that. I remember looking up, I was on my back, it was dark, it was dusty. I got up on my elbows and I looked down and my legs are gone. They talk about in Afghanistan uh, or any battlefield situation now that the golden hour to try and get you to a high level hospital uh, as soon as possible. I was pretty much on that hour uh, getting to the hospital and I passed out in the helicopter on the way to the hospital from blood loss so that's you know, quite a good indication of how close it was. I'd always been involved in sport in one way or another whether it was at school or in the army or you know, in my own time. And I wanted to do something in that avenue. And uh, if I had picked the right sport, I believed I could go to the top. Representing my country at a, a world championships is quite an amazing feeling to be able to put on the green and gold and, and really represent something that I believed in. It was a really great feeling to be able to step on top of the podium on my first World Champs and two years to the, pretty much to the day being injured and helping fulfil that promise that I made on the stretcher. So I guess being able to compete for Australia is very similar to being overseas, but in the sense of sometimes guys don't come back from Afghanistan or conflict and I've been given a second chance and you've got to be able to believe in yourself to know that you have the ability to achieve what you want and what is possible. It might not seem possible at the time, but as long as you have that belief, you'll get there. The belief in myself and my ability is absolute, but I need you to believe in me too. Without the support of generous Australians just like you, I won't get a second chance to fight for my country. Donate now and help Australia's Paralympic athletes get to Rio. Believe, and together we're invincible.